Okay, guys, we are we're on our way back to the Margaret Agler house, and on the way out there, I I go by this other place, and I wanted to show you guys this because this had a lot to do with the Underground Railroad too. This is actually Alum Creek. Plus, I mean, I was hoping to go down that way because the other house is over here. I think you'd be able to tell where that tunnel was. There, there's an, another area down here where there was a tunnel. But this is Allen Creek right here. So basically, you know, here in Ohio, slavery was abolished in 1802. And, um, you know, it was a big part of the Underground Railroad until about 1850 because then they passed... They passed a lot of laws to um, keep people from helping runaway slaves. Almost got ran over by some bicyclists. But this is the other house I wanted to show you guys over here. But I actually already metal detected this, but the tunnel was over here at Allen Creek and it ran in the back and there was a barn back here in the back that it ran into. I don't think the, the barn's not back here now, but it's a pretty cool house. Was I get run over. I'm surprised there's this much traffic out here. It's like early Sunday morning. I think it's about 8.30 in the morning. But I think this is like a home. It's, they basically help out disabled people now. But I actually got permission. I actually did this. But I never found anything. But it's a pretty cool house. Then down, down the road, the Ohio Dominican College is down there. I think it used to be called um, St. Mary's you know, back during slavery. And they had a big part of it too. But I had, I found some maps that I'm gonna stick in there that shows the pro progression of the slavery, the states from 1789 up till about 1861. Cause between 1790 and 1850, over 100,000 runaway slaves went through and, and found their freedom through the Underground Railroad. So it's quite a bit. There's actually a, a series on right now on Amazon that's called the Underground Railroad. So if you guys get a chance to, you guys have to go check it out. I just think it's weird like this apartment here because this is actually a park back in here. And then like I said, Dominican universities down the road, Dominican Sisters, and they have all these. Actually, if you go down through here, you can actually take this bike path and it'll run over to the other side of Alum Creek and you can go all the way down the whole other side of it. I've never actually been back here. But I mean, it's I mean, it's pretty cool looking. I mean, even metal detect, because I'm pretty sure there was a bridge here before then they redid this. This is all, this bridge hasn't been here this long, that long. I think when I was metal detecting that house across the street, they were putting this in here. But I think there used to be another bridge here. I know that road out there, Mock Road, I'm pretty sure it wasn't on there. It, it wasn't on that old map I found. I mean, even going down in here would be a good... Because see, um, there's another guy that has a YouTube channel, and he actually found a slave tag, and, a, and a, slaves would wear tags around their neck that could trace them back to where they came from. And um, I don't know. I mean, I, to me, I would think they would have got rid of all that stuff by the time they get here, you know what I mean? But... It's possible that you could find one of those. And them things are worth like tens of thousands of dollars. I think the one he found was worth like $25,000. I don't know if he sold it or not, but. So as far as treasure hunters, if you get around these places, I'll probably put like a, a playlist of the Underground Railroad because we'll be going to more places. Like I know there's like 20 houses left in Central Ohio that had to do with the Underground Railroad. And I think two of them are open for people to go in. I was hoping to do that yesterday because I kind of got rained out. That's why I'm out today on Sunday. And um, so I'll just put a playlist, Underground Railroad, that you guys can see as we progress through these videos. Then you can, you know, because we're headed back to the Agler house. We're going to do the backyard. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get there. Okay, guys, we're back here at the Margaret Agler house. So basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing the whole backyard. So yesterday we had like storms come in and it got cold that's why i got a coat on i don't know why the temperature dropped so much i mean i had to get up last night and turn my furnace on it was like 40 something degrees in my house so basically i'll kind of show you guys around and show you what it looks like in the back so this is the backyard it's pretty big we got a couple there's a big tree there there's a big tree there there's a big tree there but you can see 
<laughs> and this house was built in 1841. Well, it's a nice looking house. It's pretty cool. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get onto a good signal. Okay guys, I'm onto a signal. I don't know. There might be two things in here. <laughs> but so far, it's probably the, the best signal. I dug a couple of light bulbs. <laughs> That's about it so far. Got a coin. Modern day clad. So we got a quarter. That's what was banging. Let's see if there's anything else. That was it. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get onto another good one. Okay, guys, I'm onto another one. We did a little bit of it so far. I really ain't finding anything. I've dug some trash. I dug some comb, my old comb, but I think it's just for maybe like the 40s or something. It might be silver though. I don't know. I doubt it, but it could be. Oh, numbers are different. That's a coin. A beautiful memorial. <laughs> so it's a memorial penny. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on to another good one. Okay guys, we're on the call today, but we're actually, they invited us in, so we're gonna go inside and take a look at the underground tunnel. I guess there's an entrance way to it. So just hang tight. I'm gonna show you what we found though. So this is everything we found. We found this old comb, mostly nails. So we found 52 cents and this is the oldest thing that we found i don't have any idea what it is i'm gonna probably post to find out what it is because it says ohio pittsburgh 1888 on it and it has k and t but i don't have any idea what it's for it's pretty cool though so just hang tight guys we're gonna go inside okay guys this is some of the stuff they got set up for the yeah. underground railroad Pretty cool. So this is a guest book here. Yeah. Now you may have seen most of that stuff. I don't know. All right. Um, my dad, Don Jones, who uh, is known in Ohio as the father of art therapy, uh, started the mural when he was like 87 years old, and uh, he died at 91 and wasn't able to finish it. So we hope to finish it. The story behind it is the uh, like the Uncle Remus stories, uh, Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, because the rabbit uh, signified the runaway slave. He always got away, he, he tricked people, he hid, and so uh, there's a storyteller and uh, Adrian is the, the uh, uh, model for the storyteller, so he's there and a group of, and he's uh, telling the story of the uh, Underground Railroad to the kids there and there's a little group of people looking up at the house wondering whether it's safe to come up or not and up in the night sky we're going to put the uh, uh, Big Dipper, the uh, drinking gourd as the old spiritual says and up in the right hand corner is an African village with an African storyteller. 
So that was Dad's conception of the of the mural, and we hope to finish it soon. You're welcome. To come. Okay, guys, this is the entranceway to the tunnel. We're, we'll just hang in here. Uh, you can't really see. Hope you guys see, I'm not climbing in there. <laughs> but it's obviously caved in. Pretty cool. Okay, we're downstairs and we're like underneath the kitchen. And look, there's like a spring underneath here. And you can see that it's clean water because you can see. See how he's shining that light down there? You can see the rocks. You can even see the bottom. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, beside the tunnel, there's like a secret hideaway place and the homeowner said that his son had went down there and found some silverware and some coins down in this hole like they could hide out down there it's pretty cool okay guys we're upstairs in the bathroom and and here's the other secret hideaway let me see if i can get this There we go. There's like a brick in there. I'm sure there was a board and stuff in there. So, I mean, at least probably three people could hide in there. Mm -hmm. And that one downstairs, it's bigger than this, I would say. Pretty cool, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. were burning down the track came a hobo hummer he said boys i'm not returning headed for a land that's far away beside the crystal fountain i see you all this coming fall at the big rock candy mountain in the big rock candy mountain there's a land that's fair and bright where the handouts grow on bushes and you sleep by